And I want to end off with um, just one scripture. And it's one of my favorite when it comes to marriage. In Ecclesiastes 4, 9 to 12, it says this, Two are better than one. You guys agree with that, eh? Because they have a good return for their work. If one falls down, his friend can help him up. But pity the man who falls and has no one to help him up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm, like later. But how, <laughs> how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. And then it says something really interesting here. It says a cord of three strands is not quickly broken. And there's strength in three. And you're thinking, well, where the heck does three come from? I thought it was just two of us. I just want to close with this illustration. I've got a little two-stranded cord here in my pocket. The pink represents you, Brian, because you've never got No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> the pink's you, obviously, Karen. And the blue, you. And you guys have tied the knot today. And as we go through life, the only thing you can do with a two-stranded cord is pretty much twist it. You can't plait it. So as we go through, we, our lives become one and we intertwine. But often what happens, <laughs> I say often, life happens and we get thrown upside down, things go wrong, a couple of curveballs come, I don't know, we lose our job or I don't know, something goes wrong. And often what happens is we drift apart from each other. And sometimes the only thing that keeps us together is the decision that you made yet today. But as we know, and even in today's world, sometimes not even that. But the Bible speaks about a three-stranded cord, and I, really, I'm not here to preach at anyone, I promise you, I'm just sharing from my own experience in my own life, I don't know where I would be without this, but as I've allowed God in my life and in my marriage, man, things, <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy, I could stand you all day and just tell you stories, but that third strand, the white strand represents God, and I got a head start because I'm not so good at plaiting, um, and life still happens though, we get thrown upside down, it doesn't mean everything goes right. But things go wrong, but the, the awesome thing is that there's strength in three. There's strength, as we say today, which you've asked me to do, come and bless your marriage. And you say, God, you know what? I, I need you as part of my life and in my marriage. And as we allow Jesus to be part of our life and in our marriage, if you remember one thing today, remember that, that there is a strength, there's a common bond, and there's a unity that comes in that.